Okay, we're back today. They're going to do the little update on the uh, saw back here. I got some parts in the other day, and uh, what I got was this chassis mount plate for the servo. Part number is GM five two four one one S. And I got a new speed control for it. I took the one out that had the uh, the drag brake, and I put it inside of the um, R1 rock buggy. And what I picked up was just a basic Hobby King ESC. I believe this is 40 amp, 45 amp. Okay, and it's just your standard. Because I'm not really doing anything special with this as far as crawling or anything. So we're going to put the ESC back in here and do that top mounted chassis plate and get the, the servo there off. So what we'll need to do is uh, disconnect this stuff here of course. This is for them headlights. <clears throat> Pull these others off here. There we go. Get the body. Over here, I gotta clean my shop again. It sure doesn't take long to get to be a mess. Alright, yeah, and I numbered these one and two. Alright. So I guess before I even start to, uh, put this ESC in and worry about all the, the wires and everything. I do believe it'll fit just fine. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and move this chassis up. Move this uh, servo up to the chassis, excuse me. So give me just a second to figure out what we actually got to do to get that in. Maybe I can get it in without having to take everything apart. It looks like it uses the same bolts as on the, uh, the mounts. So let me get this open here. And the good news is that, it, yeah, that's all nice aluminum. That it comes with uh, the hex screws instead of the Phillips. They're, notorious for and we all know how I feel about them all right well it doesn't seem to be too weird so hopefully we can get that in without having to take a bunch of mess apart so let me get started with that and I'll be right back all right we're back. What we got now is that we got the the plate put on for your the servo mount. They wanted you to mount the servo first. And we're going to have to take these mountain body mounts off and then get this in there and this will actually bolt to where the body mounts are at. I got a little ahead of myself. This wasn't really nothing to look at. So I'm going to have to take this arm off. I know that it's facing the wrong way now. This will go like this, the arms got to face forward. All right, well, let me get that and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we got the chassis plate in. It wasn't too bad. You had to take these brackets off here. You got new screws and stuff. Got the servo mounted to here. I did have to take one screw out of the bumper to be able to spread the frame apart a little bit. So I didn't have to take it completely apart. Um, and those screws kind of suck to put in so what I'm most likely going to do is when I change this I'm going to change it to the hex head also because at least with the hex head it'll stay on the, the machine and uh, we can replace it that way but I'm not going to do that yet because I got some other things to take apart and I want to make sure nothing else gets in the way I don't want to take that off again now from looking at the instructions, also 
it's asking you to do something I wanted to do anyway, which was move this from the rock catch position, as I'd like to say, up to the top of it, and then they give you a little spacer. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, they give you that little spacer that'll go in between the two. See, like right now, the knuckle is the spacer. So we'll move this to the top, then put the spacer on. And then I'm sure this arm will go through this, the top part of the spring set of a bottom. And this will actually move this up. As you can see with this bar, it'll move it up way up right about here, which is nice. It'll get it out of the way because it does catch on everything. So give me a second to get that apart. And then I'm sure I'm going to have to readjust this arm again because it never seems to be in the right spot. All right, well, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we got the bars on. And uh, it wasn't really a whole lot to it. Just basically, uh, you had to spin the, the knuckle part. And as I thought, see, this has moved this up quite a bit now. This used to be down here this bar and then now we've got these going through the spring and it doesn't affect anything and it comes up here to the servo which is up on the top now so you don't see the servo so when you look at it straight ahead you no longer see the servo you just see the arm a little bit and that's probably because I got one of those large aluminum arms and uh, I should still get pretty good. It'll still give me real good turning radius. Now, like I said, I got when I hook everything back up, I gotta make sure my servo arm is actually in the right spot. And uh, but all in all, that's it. Like I said, you just had to take off the one screw off the bumper so you can spread it apart. Take off your post. Remove the servo. Remove the servo plate. You won't need that anymore. They give you all new screws to be able to uh, put it back together and even a couple extra ones in case you lose it, which is kind of nice. So it seemed to fit real well. Now, we'll, once I get it all back together, I'll take it for a little test run and we'll make sure everything works real well, but I still got to put the new ASC in. So give me a minute to get all that in and wire this thing up and uh, we'll give her a test run. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Well, we got the, the servo in all good. And we got our tires and everything lined up. This is up a little higher now, which is great. I got the new ESC in. That seems to be doing good. Got it all wired back up. These are for the, the lights on the body. Went in, ran my antenna up through here also to keep it up and out of the way. One thing I really got left to do, I got to put this bolt back in the, um, this bolt back in the, in the bumper and then put the body on and then I'll go take it for a little run and we'll see how she looks. Alright, give me just a minute to get the bolt back in the bumper and I'll get the body on and I'll be right back. Okay. We got her all back together. And everything seems to be running alright. Blinkers and all are working and lights work. Well, that's it for this video and uh, I'm actually going to put up another one real quick showing the running video with the new steering servo and everything in there 
But that's it for this one. As you see, we you no longer see the servo. It looks a little more scale. And everything's back together, so we're doing good. We got our Hobby King ESC, which no longer has a brake, so it pushes pretty easy. Now, when I want to tow it, it won't, you know, drag, of course. All right, well, that's it for this, and um, I hope you liked it. And Please click that like button, and please subscribe, share, and comment. It does help. All right, until the next time, bye.